All right, so I believe all of you received a, a dream of some sort, um, a message, a memo, told you to head west. Each of you separately are moving west. Um, you wake up in the woods after several weeks' journey. The morning is misty. As you continue to hike the trail, the woods are changing and the fog is growing thicker. You know, hair on your neck is standing on end. You get this feeling like you're being watched. As you're moving through the woods, you know, the trail is becoming a little bit more like a road than a, a simple forest trail. And as you continue, you can hear a small voice crying out in the wind. Help. Help someone. Please. As you continue down the road, the fog parts and you can see that there is a road traveling down to a house. It is a three-story manor with a stable and other buildings outside, and there are two small figures out front. You do not see anyone besides yourself at the moment, by the way. You're not just suddenly standing next to one another. Okay. Um, is it apparent that one of the figures is the one crying for help? You can make that assumption. Okay. Okay, what's the other figure doing? The two figures, I said, they're quite small. One is basically clinging to the other one. Um, the larger <laughs> of the two of them is, you know, waving a hand up in the air, turning from side to side, shouting. Again, crying out for help. Okay. Um, well, Valdrick will approach. Um, yeah, so, Inuk will do the same. As you walk down the road... Each of you gets the sense that there are others nearby, and figures start to walk out from the fog towards these children. As you get closer, you realize that that's what they are, is they are kids. Um, you can choose to interact with one another, or you can choose to continue towards the children. Uh, I guess uh, Inuk wants to make sure that none of the others in, in closing in seem to have hostile intent. Yeah, what are these others doing? <laughs> I, looking around confused, it's... looking at the kids. <laughs> yeah, they look about as confused as you do, but otherwise they seem to be heading towards the children. Tender is sniffing the air. A very, very large one of them is sniffing the air, apparently. Okay, so we got sniffing the air, and we have two turtle people, and a cat, and one normal-ass human. <laughs> the token human. Yeah, all, <laughs> all walking towards children who apparently want our attention yeah um the the road as you walk down it turns into a gravel road instead of just a simple dirt road um the children appear to have noticed you the girl calls out says there's a monster in our house please we need your help lothier keeps his distance for now uh, Inuk, uh, approaches them and says, uh, I'm happy to assist any way that I can. All right. Uh, and kind of looks around at the others, like, all right, boys, where are we dropping? <laughs> uh, shall we? So, the, I, anyone else with me? <laughs> the, the two children, the, there's a girl who's obviously older than the other one. She's got, you know, shoulder length, brown hair, you know, they're dressed well silk clothes um the boy is clinging to her smaller kind of hiding under her cape he carries a little doll with him um he doesn't really seem to want to say much to you or look at you he's kind of just hiding behind her um she continues she says you know there's a monster in our house the, our our baby brother he was in the basement we're so afraid for him please yeah i guess i'll walk up and uh, ask what kind of monster kid they don't know. It just it's been screaming and howling and we're just so afraid for little Walter. Who is Walter? Walter's our baby brother. Mommy and Daddy keep keep him in another room from us because he's just a baby. He lives with the nursemaid. But he went down to the basement and we're so afraid because they keep the monster trap down there. Where's your parents? I haven't seen them. Uh, I set up by the door. Uh, I have no further questions, but I'll wait for the others to make sure that their curiosity is satisfied before heading in. 
What's this house look like? Um, it's a three-story house. It's pretty fancy looking. You know, it's a nice manor house. It's not like a ramshackle piece of garbage. Um, you get the oh. sense looking around that there's, you know, like there's the stables, there's a the servant's quarters, you know, a little bit offset from it. It's a pretty much a rich person's house as you get the sense, you know, looking at the well-dressed kids and the state of the buildings. From where we came from, is it just fog? Yeah, pretty much there's just a lot of fog. It's You can tell that it's daytime, you know, there there is a sense that like the sun's overhead, but you really don't see much else going on around you. Okay, um, don't you have like a, you know, a butler or something, kid? Well, the, the nursemaid watches Walter, but we're too old to be babysat. She's like eight. <laughs> She's pretty young. Yeah. Uh, point, uh, I, I guess just a general question. Is it cheating to be looking at the, the stream where we can see an illustration of the two kids right now? Oh, no. If you want to, <laughs> that's, that's up there. You can see what the kids look like. Um, okay. I can share the same image to you guys in Discord. I just figured I would describe it as opposed to just always throwing pictures at you. Problem. Oh, there's pictures. Yeah, let me uh, let me throw that down if you guys want to see what it is that the kids look like exactly. There you go. Um, it's in the the handouts if you want to see what the kids look like. Okay. So um, they're, they're pretty well dressed. Pretty, you know, they're children. Uh, Inuk hefts a shield and a warhammer. Pretty much not. Uh, maybe a little impatient to go in, but seeing that there is backup, doesn't uh, want to go in uh, without backup. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get my halberd out and walk over the door and get ready to knock it down. Get ready to knock it down? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so forceful guess... entry got into that shock and awe. Let's do it. <laughs> Before I follow up the door, uh, Little Tear asks the kids, uh, what are you guys' names? I'm Rose, and this is Thorn. It's short for Rosalina and Th Thornbolt. Ooh. Hornbolt. I'm gonna ignore the kids and look through, see if there's like windows I can look through. Uh, the windows all have the curtains drawn. So it can't catch any sort of uh, glimpse inside? No. All right, so Vlad goes in through the door. I bust in a window. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Koopa shell your way through a window. <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> <laughs> I get stuck halfway through. Uh... All right, yeah, he's gonna ready to go. Kind of have his short swords out and then um, head towards the door. Okay. Well, Tender is kind of spooked, so he doesn't say much and he just turns invisible. Okay. The, what? The very large man vanishes. <laughs> Highly alarming and. <laughs> Uh, I guess Valdrick is going to try to locate the vanishing man, thinking it has something to do with whatever is going on. Chalk that up tomorrow. Hangover bull baloney. <laughs> His, uh, he just wanted to retreat back to the tree line and have a look at how the transpire. Should we? Hmm. Uh. I, I guess I try to call out to the large man who uh, has not... Uh, who, none of us have exchanged names, but more or less, uh, uh, you know. Uh, where have you gone? Hoping for a response. And getting none doesn't decide <laughs> that they'd be worth uh, uh, trusting with the kids. It's like, well, if you're going to be out here, you could... Watch over them while the rest of us go in, but mm, they seem untrustworthy. Oops. Oops. <laughs> well, you know, that's happening, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I'm going to stick near the kids having a similar um, suspicion okay. about the large vanishing man. Alright, so the, the kids don't really 
seem to react much to it. You know, the, the little boy clings closer to his sister, but she just says, Please come inside. We'll, we'll wait for you in the front foyer. Is the door unlocked? Yeah. It's a baby. <laughs> yeah, the, the girl kind of like tugs a little yeah. boy and gestures to the door. I'll start swinging. You'll start swinging at what? The door? The children? The door. I don't... <laughs> kick. Children. The door's unlocked. The door is unlocked. Are you just hacking into their fancy front door for no reason? Hello? You're cutting out a little bit. Um. Okay, so... I guess I will... Drag you folks over into... The front foyer... Is it foyer or foyer? I keep fucking that up. It's a foyer. Same. Foyer. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully. Our front hall. Yes, the front hall. It's a lobby. It's a lobby. <laughs> it's a lobby. <laughs> it's a lobby. Um. Let's see here. Um. Nope. That's not the button that I wanted. So hopefully you guys have some form of sight on this map. If you scroll oh. down. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, there we go. I see my token. Yeah, I see the token, but uh, nothing yes. else. Just uh, so darkness. Those of you with dark vision uh, can probably see. Those of you who only have torches probably can't see a whole lot. Or who rather mm -hmm. don't have dark vision probably can't see a whole lot. It's very dark in here. There's no lit torches. I think that the door is closed because I don't see anything either. <laughs> yeah, uh, no yeah, apparent light comes in from outside. Uh, no, not at all. So, hmm. all right, so you guys should have light, and I apologize for you guys not having light. Um, is the Catman? I assume the Catman is moving to exit the house. I'm I'm hanging with the kids basically, because oh. there's a creepy disappearing large man. So I was hanging near the kids. Yeah, so I clicked my button. Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't mean to. But I guess when he called out to me, I was going to whisper to him and just say, Too spooky. Too spooky. <laughs> Too spooky. Oh, that was that was what the message was going to be? Yeah. Well, now. Um, with nothing being specified there, uh, I don't know if I'm being taunted or what. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I think Fender yeah, for... just wants some reassurance that uh, he's not going to die. Yeah. Um, I mean, if 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 Tender is nervous, then it may make sense for him to stay outside with the kids while the rest of us go in. Um, and if whatever's in there manages to get out of the house, he can keep the kids safe. Although, although I guess if the kids are coming in into the foyer, sorry, the front hall. Yes. Then the lobby. it doesn't make sense to keep them uh have a guard on them outside. Um, and I, I I asked, does anyone have anyone got a light? <laughs> I believe most of you carry torches. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure there's a torch in the explosion. I would rather keep my shield arm free, um, but I will certainly uh, grab a torch if it. If need be. I'll carry it, I guess. Okay. Okay, so... Catman will grab... We'll take a torch with him? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a short sword in one hand and a torch in the other. Alright, then let me just make a little... switcheroo. I don't know if folks can see that now. Yeah, I got a little flame. Yeah, hopefully that That's provides horrible. some line of sight to people who have no dark vision. Yep. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Inside the room? Yeah. yeah the don't large... see anything. You don't see anything? You should see everything. Mm. Let me... Well, it's up to... We can only see up to our tokens. Right. There's nothing past that. My so point is, Korig should see a lot. Korig has 120 feet of night vision. Yeah, but I think there's a there's an obstruction there. I mean, he's in like the, I, he's I, in he's in the room. 
Corey, if you scroll down, if you haven't done that yet. Yeah, um, you, need to, you guys need to scroll down. I don't know if I, I think I mentioned that. Scroll to the bottom. Yeah, no, I'm I'm scrolled down, but I mean like up to our tokens. So I only have ten feet of vision. Right. There's yeah. There's a wall there. Room. I'm just oh. asking if people can see within the room. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can Corrig not see that? No, I can see the small room we're in. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all. That's all that I needed to know. It's okay. A three by two room. Yep. Okay. So you guys are in the small room together. Oh, excuse me. That is a ten by fifteen room. Oh my god. The children have opted. You know, they'll they'll stay in the little. They said, you know. They'll, they'll stay in the, the front room that that is attached to. Okay. Did, uh, did, did you reveal yourself again, Tender, or are you still invisible? He's hiding now. He's still... He wants to see how things transform. Okay, I'm okay. going to hang out in the back. And with He's not very my smart, so He's gotten by by avoiding things and not confronting them. That is its own version of smarts. Worry you not. All right. So there is a door leading into the next room. Um, the the foyer itself is it's a fancy little room. You know, it's got a you know nice fancy drapes and everything like that. Um, there's a shield with a coat of arms, mahogany frame, double doors. Again, you get the sense of like opulence from this whole area. So do you guys want to continue, or are you just going to chill in the front room here? Do I uh, notice anything odd in the foyer? Because, you know, it's just a bunch of weird kids in the middle of a foggy forest, so I'm, I'm so kind of suspicious the, here. So the walls are very fancy. Um, they're wood-paneled, but they're sculpted with vines, flowers, nymphs, and satyrs. Um, as you look closer, as you're examining these things... You notice that there's also skulls and dragons carved into the fancy wood. Skulls, not even once. It's the kind of thing that you wouldn't have noticed it. unless you were looking closely. Alright, okay. So, I guess I'm going to take care of the second door. Sure. I will knock that fucker down. Okay. You have knocked that fucker down. I mean, not literally. I assume that you just opened the door. Why? No, I have a large <laughs> axe. <laughs> okay, well, you hack into the door, and the force of your hack just throws the doors open. This is acceptable. Okay. Would anybody like to explore the room, or are you just going to peek around from the doorway? I kind of thought the shield boy was going to dart in as soon as I made an opening, but if nobody's in a rush, I guess I'll step out. Okay. You're, you're trying to draw... There you go. So you're trying to draw something. <laughs> okay, so from what you can see, you're next to a fireplace. It's a very ornate fireplace. Um, above the fireplace is mounted a longsword with a windmill cameo worked into the hilt. Uh, that's pretty much oh, all that okay. you can see right now. What's the... Oh, if I need a longsword. Sorry, what was that, Corey? Uh, so what's the floor made of? F floor? Wood? Wood? Okay. Yeah. Wood with, like, you know, it's got carpets in places that are fancy. And you like where this is going. Oriental rugs. Oh, I just, you know... If, if I drop the torch in a battle, I wanted to know whether or not I was going to set the house on fire. I mean, it's not going to immediately catch fire and, and you know, the whole yeah, place is going to go up in flames, but... Ideally, you don't drop a lit torch on a carpet and wood, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's not a great situation. We're going to die. I apologize. <laughs> I stepped out for, a, like, a second and didn't realize my mic was muted when I said so, so <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cautiously come in here. Is there wood in this fire uh, fireplace? Uh, sure. Yeah, there's 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 wood in the fireplace. Why not? Okay. Um, does it look like I could just you know apply torch to get a fire going? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh, all right. Just to get a little bit of ambient light in here, you know. There, I believe that should work. Let me. I 
enter as well at this point. I uh, I point at the kids and tell them to come and hang out near the fire. Uh, they are very disinterested in coming any farther into the house. The little boy clings to his sister, and she just like shakes her head rapidly. Snow will stay here. I mean, okay. is this their house? I don't. I don't like this. Too spooky. Very <laughs> spooky. Pretty much. Yeah. Is there anything off about these kids? Uh, they look I mean, like yes, but... <laughs> Besides the fact they're creepy fucking kids, but I mean, like, you know, is there anything odd about their mannerisms or anything? No, so they've never seen of, The Shining. They they just seem to be kids to you. You're not really, you know, you don't really notice anything overtly creepy about them. Okay. Only one of us would probably have any sort of experience with human kids anyway, to have a baseline. I'm not a fan of them. Okay, so this is stairs that go up? Yes. Question mark? Check. Okay. Yeah, those are, those are stairs that go up. So, at this point, his invisibility would have worn off, right? I believe so, yeah. It's only like a round or two, something like that. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so he just like pops in right there. Yeah, pretty much. For such a large man, you can be very discreet. Um, anyway, within the room that you're in, you can now see that there are three or four additional doors four four additional doors okay um i think there's one by me too if that's what this is i'm not sure yes sorry five i was i missed the one initially over uh five lad okay anything different about these doors or they all look the same um no, I mean the so the the one across from you, Corey, uh, kind of just looks much simpler than the other ones. Otherwise, they all look about the same. Uh, the children said that the monster is in the basement. Yes. Um, perhaps we shall hold off on the stairs until uh, we've checked the rest of the, the stairs floor. stairs go up. Yeah. So. Not worrying about up, let us try to find down. Okay. Just wanted to make sure she didn't send the stairs went down. Yep. Yep. Sorry. All right. Well, it seems like we got to start uh, picking doors. Why not the uh, the one closest to the entrance? Yeah. Start here. The and then... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one with the uh, that low tier is that? Yeah. I'm blown away by this maneuver. <laughs> Just opening of the door. <laughs> it's unlocked. It is unlocked. You can simply I'll open walk... the door, it is unlocked. I'll walk through the door to demonstrate that it's unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> through the door. He doesn't even open it, he just walks through the wood. Okay. Uh, Inuk, Inuk follows him in. Uh, right. We will be needing some light in here, because I can only see about half of the room. Thank you. Okay. So, this is an oak-paneled room. It looks a lot like a hunter's den. There's a stag's head over the fireplace. There's three stuffed wolves along the outskirts. You know, two padded chairs draped in animal furs. And a large chandelier hanging above the tables by the fire. There's two cabinets against the walls. Um, and there's the, you know, table and chairs in the corner. Okay. Is there more wood in the fireplace? Yep. Well, let's make this place toasty. <laughs> Alright. Hot. There you go. Hey. Ah, I can move it. Oh, yeah. 
Let's not yeah. move the fire. Let's not move the fire. Oh. <laughs> is, is that torch that all of us can control? Shh. Yes, it is. Leave torch alone. You don't know about torch. Torch is fine right where he is. Poor torch. Poor torch. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a look at this uh, the shelf here. Is there anything uh, interesting on? Uh, let's see the the cabinets. Yeah, the cabinets. I'm sorry. Um, there's a lock on that particular cabinet. Oh, well. Oh, you know, I can pick that. So no, well, I can pick we're, that. We are, we are not here <laughs> to rob them. Yeah, I'll, I'll go look at the other one. There might be clues in there. Uh huh. I head back out into the uh, that first room with the stairway just to when, whenever these <laughs> okay so, unsavory characters are done. <laughs> so the the other cabinet, um, Corey, I forget the Vald, Vald and Vlad, Vald. The other cabinet is unlocked. It just has a small box with playing cards and then just a bunch of fancy wine glasses. Yeah. Okay. Fancy wine glasses. All right. Um, that's not interesting to me. Noted, but not interesting. And uh, low tier. Did you wanna? I wish to open. Or rather, I wish to try my hand at opening this cap. All right. Give me a dexterity check with your lock picking tools, etc. I forgot to check out any dice I need for this. Ah, Rick. Okay. I'll call you Rick instead of Vault because that will be simpler. Check. Okay. All right. Are you having fun doing cartwheels there, uh, Wicker? Yeah, I see Dan spinning. Training. Give me a moment of this while I fumble with my thieves' tools. <laughs> No problem. Um, which door are we looking to open next? Uh, possibly uh, this one here closest to the fireplace and just kind of work our way from the outside uh, perimeter of the yeah, building inward. That sounds good. Excuse me. All right. Um, I will open the next door. Uh, let's just wait for okay. Lodier to stop fumbling with his tools and... Hit me with a roll here. Um, and then, Corey, uh, once it's open, I figure if we both go in, because I've got shield and you've got torch, and both of those are necessary when entering an unknown dark room. Sounds fair to me. Okay. You first, of course. So. Naturally. The lock clicks open. Um, as you open up the cabinet, you see a heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, a hand crossbow, and 20 bolts for each of those. This is a lot of stuff. I don't know if it can carry it all. <laughs> Are the bolts independent for the crossbows, or could you conceivably just grab one crossbow and 60 bolts if you wanted? We'll just say that they're in independent. They're probably not supposed to be, but I'm not going to fiddle with different size bolts for different crossbows. If worse comes to worse, I can always look that up later, but we'll just say that it's 60 bolts and then they're just lined up next to their respective crossbow within the cabinet. 
What were those sizes? One heavy, one light, one hand. It works. I'll just, uh, I'll just uh. grab all three. <laughs> you just gonna, okay. You now have an armful of crossbows. Along with the bolts. How are you, alright, I'm gonna put the The other arm, teeth. obviously. Yeah, how many arms do you have? Well, right, I put away my, yeah. Alright. Crossbows, I have, I don't know how long my arms are, actually. <laughs> Um, I mean, you, you can just, like, tuck your bolts away, and I assume you've got a quiver, because I think that you have... I do have a quiver. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, as you pull away from the cabinet, you kind of get a, a prickle on the back of your neck. Um, you look around, you feel like maybe the wolves look different. They don't quite look, you know, they, they haven't moved necessarily, but they look like they're looking at you as opposed to just a generic generic, uh, pose that they had before. I exit the room. <laughs> okay. You exit the room. Alright, we enter the dark room. and get the bark. I don't know which room they actually went into. They have not yet entered a room. Well, we're ready to head into the next one over here, but... Tender says it's quite spoopy. I don't see him. On uh, I think. Don't see what. Uh, I believe there we go. Okay. Um, there's enough space for me to move forward and torch cat to move behind me. Torch cat. I'm sorry, I don't see your char character name easily. I just see Corey as the display. <laughs> I mean, have you guys even told each other your names? You guys are just walking no, in the house? No, we haven't. Yeah. No. <laughs> Things that are not important. <laughs> Listen, oh, yeah. there's danger afoot. We'll deal with formalities afterward. Uh, there's another fireplace. I move aside so that you can head up and light that. Um, aside from this... Seeming to be a dining room, dining hall of some sort. Uh, what else can you tell us about the room? The centerpiece of the wood panel dining room is an exquisitely carved mahogany table with eight high-backed chairs. Above it hangs a crystal chandelier, and upon the table lay silver and crystal polished to a dazzling shine. Above the fireplace is an enormous painting of a huntsman. Okay, well... Fireplace, uh, have wood. You know the drill. Yep. I'm, j I'm just gonna assume fireplace have wood until, uh, we encounter one that don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically, um, they're gonna have the worst energy bill after this. <laughs> the energy bill for all this fire. Yeah. I mean, they gotta pay someone to chop all the wood. Yep. Uh, is there anything else in this? Nope, again, there's a... You know, red silk drapes over the walls. Huge tapestry. Actually, I confused. I said it was above the fireplace. It was behind the the chair there. Just a huge tapestry of a. Oh, I see. Huntsman. Okay, I inspect the tapestry. Okay. As you inspect the tapestry, you notice that it's not just a huntsman in the woods, but there are several wolves with large glowing red eyes peeking out from various brush within the painting. Okay. Um, Fun! That's good. Did the <laughs> the wolves in the... whatever that was, the little um, lounge area, are, are they kind of similar, or are they just... They look like wolves. Just generic wolves. I mean, to, to you, you recognize that, oh, they're they're wolves, there's nothing special about them. You could probably tell how old they were and, you know, everything about them if you really wanted to inspect them. Um, the other people would just, you know, they're wolves, they are what they are. Well, uh, just kind of general details, kind of for yep. future reference. You don't have to actually tell me, but mm. Baldrick. Right. How many wolves? Are there three? There were three wolves in the other room within the painting. Right. There's probably about a, a dozen as you really sit oh, there okay. and inspect it. Okay. Um, you know, every time you look, you think you see another one. Um, but as you, you look around in the painting, you know, you mark, oh, there was one here, and then you look back a minute later, and it's not there anymore. Cool. 
Oh, that's so exciting. Like if I move the other side, does it look different? Yeah, it's uh, one of those lenticular postcards. Yeah, it's not a lenticular <laughs> painting. It's just uh, perhaps a trick of the light. Perhaps something else is going on. Wolves with dry eyes. Clear eyes. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, well, I look under the table just in case there's anything fun in there. There's floor. Okay. That's not very fun. <laughs> um, while the table is set, does it seem that it has been used recently? Um, like recent butt prints in the chairs or anything like that? Are the seats warm? Uh, no, the seats don't feel warm. It just looks like it's been, you know, well kept. Like the servants, okay. if there are any, you know, set out the, the table and no one has quite eaten at it yet. Is there okay. a sign that it, it is used? Just I mean, there's there's no mind. there's no dust throughout the house as you've been in it. It's clearly you know people live here or you know sweep or something. Um, there's no cobwebs, no dust. There's you know evidence that this is a a kempt home. Um, I am going to check the small room that was over here. Yeah, uh, I there we go. Okay. Uh... Um. Throw open that door. Okay. Right. Light. I can, okay. Cool. Um, it's just um, a it's just a cloak a pantry. room. Yeah, it's a it's okay. a cloak room. There's a uh, several black cloaks and a top hat sitting on a high shelf. Oh, I would look great in a top hat. Uh, but instead, I um, just do like a quick pass of like, none of these open a hidden door, do they? Like checking the cloak hooks. <laughs> Uh, no, you jiggle around. There's, you know, some empty hangers, some empty pegs, okay. but otherwise just some cloaks and a top hat. Okay. Cool. I always Wait. like it in a video game when it seems like it branches out, but it continues to be linear. So, one door left to go! <laughs> I'm going to, uh, um, after he finishes up um, and starts moving to the second door, I'm going to look back and see if the kids are still doing alright and or still there. Um, Tender, have you left that room? Uh, he keeps poking in and out. Okay, I'm just I'm just noticing you do like uh like a little break dance there, spinning around. Um, the tokens have to down. No, the uh the kids are still in there, you know, kind of standing quietly, watching this man who's like three times their height, poke in and out of the room. He's he's walking very quietly. He just pokes in and it's like is safe. And then walks back out and comes back in. Just, is still safe. <laughs> okay. On to the next room. Yeah. Um, Vlad, are you taking point or do you want me to take point? What? Uh, oh, I guess no. I, sh I, I should have handled this door. Even if, uh, even if we don't know each other's names, what is everybody carrying as far as weapons go? Just so I can stereotype what everybody would be doing if it came to a fight. Crossbows. Yes, clearly. <laughs> he just still has an arm full of cross. He's just gonna throw side. them at them. Just whip the crossbows across the room. Joke's on you. He's got them all loaded now. It's gonna be rapid fire. <laughs> no, he's gonna throw a loaded cr uh, crossbow, and it's a proto grenade. All right, so he's got crossbows. I've got a longbow and a short sword. A longbow on my back, and a short sword in one hand, and a short sword on my head. Okay, and you are uh, Rick? Yeah. Okay, I'm Inuk. Uh, I've got, again, a uh, war hammer and a shield. Tender has a large stick, a.k.a. a quarter staff. Cool. Rick approves of the war hammer. What have you got over there, Vlad? I've got my halberd in my hands. Okay. Good door opening weapon. So you. you... Proceed yeah, to... we're breaching. All right, you've breached the door. A toilet. Excuse me, it's occupied. <laughs> Does it smell? It's not. It's not a toilet. Um, it looks like it. You're now in a kitchen. It's tidy and well maintained. There's a work table with a rolling pin. All of the dishes are stacked neatly on the shelves. That is a large stone oven with a door behind it. 
I only saw half of it, so... Does the oven have any wood in it? Does the oven... no. Oh no. Oh no! There goes our streak. Yeah. How um how will we maintain line of sight in this room? Because I'm getting line of sight from the torches even mm -hmm. when I'm not in the same room as them. It's simple. We go break table. We have wood. Oh, I've lost track. My token. You have. Where did you put your token? Probably in the darkness. Uh, it's in the kitchen, somewhere. I think. I can't see it though. Uh, <laughs> your token appears to have fucked off. So I'm gonna give you a new token. I don't know where you put him. So congratulations on losing a token. That's impressive. Yeah. You're very there. stealthy. Here, there's. I've returned a token to you. you he he did the, he did the giant's trick of disappearing and reappearing again. I'm back. Yeah, I don't even see your token on the board. So congrats. <laughs> I moved into the kitchen now. Okay. So there is an additional door behind the oven. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. Okay. Okay. No longer door there. There, yeah, there is no longer a door there. Um, you're now in a pantry. It's very well stocked. You know, lots of of bread and things in jars and you know dried foods, sort of a dealio. Mm. Um, Are there mushrooms? There are n no mushrooms. Um, there is also sense. a dumb waiter with a teeny brass bell. A dumb waiter, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that was supposed to go in the kitchen, not in the pantry. My bad. <laughs> That's over in uh, this area. Like, how dumb are we? Yeah, the, uh, Would he know his name? The dumb waiter's on the red spot. Sorry, I thought it was in the the other area. No, there's. I there's say hello to the dumb waiter. Person. Yeah, I I am the dumb waiter because I mislabeled where it was. Yes, there's a dumb waiter in the kitchen. Um, the pantry itself just has a lot of, you know, food. Stuff, like a, like a lot pantry of, would. Yeah. But no um. Mushrooms. So there has been no, no clear mushrooms. way to go downstairs. Um. I head back to the front hall. I want to do some basic math with this dumb waiter and the turtle. <laughs> While you do there. that, um, are they um, compatible? Corey, did you just go hide in the closet? I've been in here for a while. Okay, so you you left the 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 foyer. Yeah, this place was dark and it looked safe. Okay, um, as you guys return to the foyer, the children are gone. Cool. That's strange. The children are gone. <laughs> Well, they haven't gone back in the house. I go outside. Um, As you jiggle I... the front door, the front door will not open to you. Oh, okay. Vlad? <laughs> yeah, breach! I, I think oh. Breach, I think, is the, the correct call here. <laughs> An uncooperative portal. Is this the front or is this the front? That... Get, you, yeah, you can't cross that threshold, ba that threshold basically. Oh, I'm, please I'm... see. <laughs> I attack the threshold. You can nope. It does not become attacked. Your weapon bounces off harmlessly. Okay, I um, they have light in there without my torch, right? We don't have light anywhere without that torch. Well, the yep. fireplace, I don't know if that's enough that you can stay in there, because I'm going to go over here and hang out with the wolves and these windows. I do not have... Oh. No. Right in Invisible man ate children and locked us in. <laughs> uh, large man, I have bad news. We, uh, we seem to be trapped. And so if you would like to lend what expertise you have in trying to help us become untrapped... And maybe eventually this monster thing as well. But uh, if your expertise lies in becoming untrapped, maybe help us out with that. Well, Tender gets frightened at the news. And he casts Expedition Retreat on himself and runs up the stairs. Okay. So you Very haul fast. ass up the stairs. Um, okay. Let me, uh, let me grab it's, you and... It's dark up there. Yep. And you 
will be able to haul somebody, ass up the stairs. Somebody should have asked him what he did with the children. I think we have to catch him first. He's working out some carbs. And Taurus in the hair over here.